Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill and on this channel we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty and beauty standards. Sometimes I use celebrities as examples of the work and plastic surgery that could be done to the face. Whenever I do this, it's never to shame or expose that celebrity. Also remember that I have no proof that the celebrity had these procedures done. I'm working off my own knowledge of plastic surgery and how it tends to present on the face. Never use my videos as a vehicle to send hate to that celebrity. If all this sounds interesting to you, then please subscribe. I do want to remind everyone and inform those who don't know, I did have plastic surgery just less than a week ago. So if my face looks a bit swollen or stranger than usual, then that's the reason. If you want to know more about the surgery I had done, then please watch my last video, which was this video right here. Today we're going to talk about the beautiful and talented Shakira, who I have been asked to analyze probably over a hundred times. Now, whenever I've looked at Shakira's photos, I was always a bit dumbfounded because she looks the same throughout the years. Something told me though, that it wasn't going to be very easy to analyze her, even though she does look so natural. Experience analyzing celebrities has taught me that the most natural looking celebrities are generally the ones who've had the most procedures done to stay looking so incredibly natural and the same as in their youth throughout the years. So without further ado, let's get started. Shakira was born on February 2nd, 1977 in Barranquilla, Colombia to her mother, Nidia, who is Colombian, and her father, William, who is of Lebanese descent. Shakira is a world famous singer, songwriter, and dancer. She is the very definition of a phenom, so talented in her craft that she recorded her debut album with Sony Records at just 13 years old. Since then, Shakira has had tremendous success in both the Latin and the U.S. music markets and has, of course, become an internationally known music star. An interesting fact about Shakira is that her father's Lebanese background inspired Shakira's interest in belly dancing. After being taken to a Lebanese restaurant and hearing the drums that are normally played while belly dancing, Shakira's dancing style is derived from combining Latin dancing with Middle Eastern belly dancing. Let's look at Shakira's natural beauty traits. Here she is as a young woman. I see beautiful, large, half-moon-shaped eyes, a compact and round, youthful face with full, youthful cheeks, and pretty heart-shaped lips. Shakira is absolutely adorable as a young woman. Now, a word of warning before we start. Most of Shakira's before photos are pre-fame, and they're just not crystal clear or in high definition. But I did have enough of the photos showing the same changes over and over to be able to do an analysis. You will see before photos that have different angles, lighting, and makeup compared to the after photos. If this sort of thing bothers you, then I encourage you to skip this video. One of the first changes I see to Shakira's face is her nose. Where she once had a very cute nose with a slightly larger tip, we now see in its place a nose with a smaller tip and a bridge that's also smaller. Now the nostrils have been brought in in a nasal base reduction so that her nose is now more narrow on her face and fits between her eyes exactly. Now this rhinoplasty was done subtly and expertly. And although it's great work, it's not necessarily an improvement. It's more like they just switched one style of nose for another style of nose. I noticed a change to Shakira's eyes early on. Her eyes before had a significant amount of scleroshow, and her eyes in the after don't. 
This points to her having had a possible lower blepharoplasty. She may have also had ptosis repair along with the lower blepharoplasty. Shakira's upper lip looks a bit different to me as well. I think she may have had a subtle procedure called a V to the Y plasty, which gives the patient more lip show to their upper lip. The shape of her upper lip has changed to more arched in the middle and no longer has the M shape. Now the reason that I don't think this is lip filler is because the upper lip hasn't become more voluminous. It is simply showing more of a red lip surface or giving a taller lip appearance. Now, another change that helped Shakira go to a more mature aesthetic was a partial buckle fat removal. I think the removal gave her face less of a round look and more of a sculpted, grown-up look. Another change I see is Shakira's teeth, specifically the upper 10 teeth. I think that she had veneers or crowns or both placed on them to reshape certain teeth that were pointed, as in the case right here with her laterals. The cosmetic dental work also served to broaden and widen her smile arch, bringing out her front teeth more and positioning the back teeth to be more prominent to her smile reveal. Her smile is beautiful both before and after, it's about 2012 that I noticed Shakira has changed out her veneers or crowns for a new larger set. This new set is more bulbous and less natural looking. Shakira lost what looks like a significant amount of weight early in her rise to fame between the years of 1995 and the early 2000s. Because of this weight loss, we see a loss of facial fat, especially to her jaw. And after the weight loss, we see that her true bone structure is revealed. I think Shakira had her jaw reshaped into a smaller and more pointed shape via jawbone shaving or V-line reduction, and this was to facilitate a more heart-shaped face. Now, alternatively, she may have had a chin wing implant, which can also give a similar V-shape appearance. The change to a pointed chin helped to lengthen Shakira's face make it look more slender and less round and baby face. We do have a sponsor for today's video. I'd like to welcome back Scentbird to the channel. Scentbird is an online fragrance subscription service that lets you choose from over 600 fragrance brands. Each month, they send you a new fragrance of your choice for just $17. And these are designer fragrances, brands like Fendi, Gucci, and Chanel. They carry all the designer fragrances that I want to try, but I don't want to pay full price for. You choose the fragrance that you want to try, so there are no surprises. They're also flexible, so there's no penalties for skipping months. Scentbird is perfect for you if you want to try a new designer fragrance every month without having to commit to a full-size expensive perfume bottle. They also offer a quiz that you can take to figure out which fragrances they have in their collection that will suit your personal taste. The bottles that the fragrance comes in are much larger than your traditional perfume samples that you would get at a perfume counter. To open, all you do is twist from the top and spray. You can also pull the fragrance out completely from its packaging. As you can see, the name of the fragrance is labeled on the side. So this month I tried Rosy Bloom by Kenzie and Be Delicious by DKNY. I highly recommend Rosy Bloom which is a sensual floral scent. The moment I smelled this scent, I knew it was my new favorite everyday perfume. Each fragrance comes with its own information card and the back of Rosy Bloom says that it has notes of grapefruit, Granny Smith apple, mandarin, and sweet rose. So give this one a try if you love sophisticated floral scents. Scentbird is offering my subscribers 55% off their first month at Scentbird, which comes out to just $7 for the month. If you'd like to give it a try, please click the link down below and put in my code Lori Hill for 55% off your first month. Thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video and thank you to all of you who support my sponsors. The same facial fat loss that affected Shakira's jaw can also be seen affecting her under eyes where she is sometimes hollow. This is where I think she's had fat placed over the years. Shakira's cheeks have also had some facial fat loss to them, and I think she has had fat placed there as well throughout the years. Now later on, she may have exchanged the fat for dermal filler. Now as Shakira gets older, we really see that she preserves her youthful looks. 
I think a lot of Shakira's youthful looks can be attributed to both her facial features and to a large part to her having somewhat regular fat transfers. I don't think that Shakira has had a facelift, at least not yet. Remember that fat transfers can make the skin appear and act younger on a cellular level because of its stem cell rich properties. So Shakira's skin will glow and appear youthful with almost no extra work from her. The second purpose of fat transfers is to add structure to the face. Since I believe Shakira has been getting regular fat transfers since her 20s, this fat has served to preserve the structure to her face in much the way a facelift would without cutting the skin. If you notice, her face has become measurably larger along with the features that have been getting fat transfers, like her cheeks and lower face. The reason for the larger face is because as she's aged, her skin envelope has gotten looser and surgeons have continued to fill this skin envelope up to make her face appear tight once again without removing skin. Another change I see on Shakira's face is a second rhinoplasty. It looks like the lateral cartilages of the nose have been shaved down more and they've made her nose look more narrow overall with a finer, more defined tip to her nose. Now let's talk about lip filler. Shakira doesn't have an overly large set of lips. In recent times, I do see what looks like lip filler. Starting in 2020, she has began filling her lips with an emphasis to upper lip volume. Now regarding Botox, I do think that Shakira has used Botox off and on throughout the years, but never in a way that restricts her facial movement. A lot of Botox virgins out there may think that using Botox completely makes your face not move, which is not the case. You can actually choose the amount of Botox that you want in order to give your face more or less movement. And in Shakira's case, I think that she chooses a very conservative amount of Botox, which is why we still see fine lines here and there, which I don't think take away from her beauty or youthfulness in the least. Now let's talk about possible body plastic surgery that Shakira may have had done. Keep in mind, I cannot zoom in or have overly explicit photos as YouTube does censor those. Now we all know that Shakira's breasts are small and humble so you don't confuse them for mountains. But what about the rest? Shakira has an amazingly toned and athletic shape, which she credits working out in a healthy diet for. It's after Shakira's first pregnancy that I notice a change to her stomach. It's extremely flat with the look of a tummy tuck, as evidenced as well by her changed belly button shape. But it's the flatness to her stomach that is the most telling as tummy tucks come out very flat because the excess skin is removed and it takes the stomach a while to come back to a more natural shape. Shakira has always maintained a small rounded tummy because it's part of her belly dancing. So this was a big sign of a potential tummy tuck having been done. Now, at about 38 years old, Shakira gave birth to her second son, and it was rumored that she had a plastic surgeon at the hospital with her to give her a tummy tuck after she had a C-section delivery. Many times, the surgeon will do liposuction as well during the tummy tuck. It did cause me to look back at Shakira's photos to take a look at her body after her second pregnancy, and again, I do see that characteristic flatness to her stomach. And again, it's not how soon after giving birth her stomach became flat, but more specifically, the quality of flatness to her stomach. That signature washboard look and that look to her belly button. So it's not out of the question that she would have had a second tummy tuck, especially if she had given birth through C-section. Now there's something else I've noticed. Take a look at Shakira's butt. The height and roundness of her butt at 43 years old makes me think there was also some kind of a BBL done, whether it was with her own fat or Sculptra filler. Now it was subtly done, but her butt looks a bit too perfected and round. I could be totally wrong, and I know that Shakira's butt was always high and round. But past a certain age and past a few pregnancies, everyone's butt does change. And generally the butt droops and gets lower and less rounded or even deflated after pregnancy. 
so she may have added some fat or sculpture to her butt. Let's add up all of Shakira's possible plastic and cosmetic procedures, and I'll tell you how much it costs to look like Shakira, Shakira. Sorry, I had to. Remember, all prices are based at the top of the price range. These are celebrity high-end prices and not normal people prices. Rhinoplasty, 20,000. Lower blepharoplasty, 10,000. V to the Y plasty, 5,000. Buckle fat removal, 5,000. First set of veneers, 20,000. Second set of veneers, 20,000. Jawbone reduction or chin wing implant, 10,000. Multiple fat transfers to the face, 100,000. Second rhinoplasty, 20,000. Lip filler, 10,000. Botox, 25,000. First tummy tuck, 30,000. Second tummy tuck, 30,000. BBL, 30,000. Total cost, $335,000. Shakira's possible plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures can absolutely be praised for their conservative and subtle look. I don't think they ever were trying to change her face completely. Just give her a more mature, grown-up look. What is also interesting about Shakira's later cosmetic work was how much it flew under the radar. Sometimes you would see posts like this where people wonder how she has no wrinkles at 44, but it's generally not a bunch of people screaming at her to talk about her plastic surgery. Allowing her to go from youthful looking to a bit more youthful looking now, as far as Shakira's body is concerned, I'm sure that a lot of those surgeries were due to the pressure she feels to look a certain way, in particular when she was on stage with J-Lo, and as she ages in the spotlight, singers seem to be overly concerned about their bodies. Now, could this be because of the way they're positioned when they're singing? I'm not sure, but I do have a lot of empathy for the pressure that she must feel to stay looking good so that she can stay relevant. Let me know your thoughts about the procedures that Shakira may have had done. Please keep the comments kind or neutral. I know you will. Please visit my sponsor, Scentbird. The link is down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>